Hey guys, Ashby with Ashby Farms. We're out here at uh, one of our bee yards this morning and it is like August the 12th. And basically what we're doing today, we've got nukes in place that have been growing. So it was a two frame split. We've been feeding them up. Now they're a, a three to four frame box, but we've got nice frames of brood. And so today we're gonna be moving them into um, a larger box, a 10 frame box with a feeder. So we've got four frames, one, two, three, four, our hive beetle trap and two additional blank frames with a feeder. And that's gonna allow us to feed and, and get these bees go ahead and start drawing out wax, getting prepared for our uh, goldenrod nectar flow, which is gonna start in about one month. So we're gonna feed, feed, feed in August, get our colony numbers up, forager numbers up, then they can capitalize on the, go on the goldenrod and as a matter of fact, this is a farm of a friend of mine. Let me just shoot out right in here. So this is all cucumbers, squash, and zucchini. This is his sixth planting. So these bees here get a continuous nectar flow just from his six acre produce farm right here. Um, good friend of mine and we work together. Um, and with that being said, my bees stay fed throughout the year. We don't have a lot of loss in this yard. So um, this time of year, uh, because of the way the sun is now, this is kind of a shady area and that is creating small hive beetle problems. Every one of these boxes you see right here has been moved up from a nuke to a 10 frame box. And I'm talking like 30, 40, 50 hive beetles in every one. That may have been my screw up because I jammed four frames plus a feeder in and did not leave proper amount of bee space. I should have done a feeder in three frames so here is a good example of this. So I pull the lid, don't see any hive beetles right away. And as you see, we got one, two, three, four. I've got no bee space here, no bee space here. And look at all the hive beetles that we've caught in the last two weeks. Um, I mean, 20, 30, 40, this is a Swiffer sheet. I love the Swiffer sheets. The bees have propolized it in place um, and yeah, I mean, there's a there's a couple live beetles right there. We'll just go ahead and mash them. Um, but that's how we handle small hive beetles for a commercial apiary. I mean, look at all these beetles here. Um, and this this sheet is still plenty usable. It's just like a tangle. Oh, there's one right there. See it still moving? Right there. And kill that. There's one still moving. Kill that one. Look at all these hive beetles. So for August, mite treatments, Apivar. We use Apivar strips. Apivar strips, this is our last yard. Every other yard's done. I'm just behind because of some stuff going on in life. So um, putting in Apivar strips today, feeding, moving them up uh, uh, from a um, nuke box to a full 10 frame hive. So just a little quick clip it of how we're doing August chores. Again, I'm Ashby with Ashby Farms. Thank you guys for watching.